In this video we're going to show you how to repair chips and scratches to the hull of your boat. This is damage that happens in the use of a boat and it's something you will need to repair. You don't want water getting into the chips and scratches. First damage your boat. Now you'll see in this video how hard it is to damage it. But with the weight of the boat pressing down on the hull, hitting any rock or any hard surface, the slipway, even the trailer can damage the uh, chimes and the corners of the boat. Obviously we're doing this the right way up. Doing it laying on your back under the boat is much more difficult. So, make sure the hold is all clean and dry. Mix up your resin. A lot of people don't mix up enough resin and they get the ratio of the hardener wrong, normally 1% to 2%. Mix up enough, way more than you need, and that way the ratio of the hardener is more likely to be accurate and it won't go off too quickly, and or more to the point, frequently when we're doing these gel coat repairs, it doesn't go off at all. And it's got to go off. It's got to go off hard for the rub down process So with the patch, or the area to be patched, dry and clean, you apply the gel coat in small quantities and you build it up. You don't dollop great big lumps on, that's when you get air, air bubbles. You apply it slowly with the wooden spatula, which gives you a very small surface to apply it with. And you just keep building it up, and this is done in real time. And once you've got it built up, you put your masking tape on, come from the bottom, fold it over, the masking tape creates straight lines along the edges and that will hold it in place. You now leave it to dry. This might take an hour, it might take a day. It depends on the, wet, on the temperature uh, of the day and the humidity. You're going to need wet and dry for the next process. Here you see we've got four grades of wet and dry. And you do need four grades of wet and dry. Coarse to start with and much finer to finish with. If you don't do this process, then you'll end up with a finish that is rough, and if it's rough, it'll come out. It'll get gripped by the water as you go along. Here, the wet and dry process is being done. You wet and dry it down. You clean it off. You go to the next grade of paper, wet and dry it down, clean it off, go to the next grade of paper, and so on. Once that's all done, and it's clean and dry and finished, you apply the cutting compound onto the fiberglass that you're then going to take off with a power buffer. This is what puts the shine back in place. You can't over buff, you can't under buff, but just keep looking at it, keep touching it, keep feeling it, and you'll see when you get a finish that is as good as it can be. White, you can do unseen repairs. Once you've got a colour in the hull, it's almost impossible to do an unseen repair, but there's always going to be shades of difference. Here's a list of the stuff you need. What you need is patience. You need to take time in cleaning out the scratch to start with. You need to take time in getting it clean. You need to make sure you've mixed your gel properly. You need to take time in applying it. You need to take time in waiting for it to dry. The wet and dry process, you keep going till it's flat and smooth. And once all that is done, you then can power buff it, the job done. This repair was done in real time. It took 20 minutes, half an hour, but we're in a heated factory. If you're doing this outside, laying on the ground under your boat, it might take longer. Thank you for watching.